All right. So thank you, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yeah? How many of you have expected to see an accountant standing up in front of you for 10 minutes? Right? OK, so uh, yeah, we are entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. Uh, Peter and I, we have been in the accounting industry for over 18 years. We're both chartered accountants, so come from a very prestigious training background, blah, blah, blah. But one thing that's missing that we wanted to bring to our firm is a connection back to the actual people that we do the service for. And so that's why we focus a lot on the entrepreneurs. How do we support you? And what do you mean to us? So we think about accounting and tax very differently. We're not just telling you what to do or what not to do. You know, we talk about visualization and you know, aspiring to grow. How many of you actually talk to your accountants to actually you know, put that into words? Hey, I want to buy a house that's $2 million in two years. Or I'm going to have a family in three years, and there's going to be two kids. Right? A lot of times you just go, give them a shoebox. Oops. <laughs> give them a shoebox of your receipts, and then expect them to do your, your tax return, right? Am I right? Okay. So we think you deserve more than that. And so our approach really is taking what we've learned being business owners ourselves and really like staying in touch with what would help you, technology, um, other trends in other industries, sectors. So we work with you work with the, uh, the cycles of the sectors, and we really try and get to partner with you as the owner. So working with us nowadays, for example, very cloud-based, really great for people who are in like the EXP cloud space, because you're used to basically not having a lot of paperwork to deal with. How many of you actually keep your receipts every time you actually go for a lunch or a dinner? How many of you actually hate that whole process? Right. So now there are tools that are out there that accounts should be working with their clients with to help encourage that you can get away with not taking those receipts, but still keeping a record of it. Right? And that's what the cloud is for. So then we integrate all that into a centralized cloud-based accounting system. Then you can actually take your work and go wherever you want, enjoy some of your you know, mood boarding, and actually live a lifestyle that is not you know, based in one location. And then we actually work with your banks to make sure that all that information is always up to date. Once we have all of that taken care of, that allows us to focus on other things. And so the way that we work, we work across the entire real estate sector. So we have a lot of sales reps, uh, sole proprietors, PRECs, developers, um, finance uh, companies, so mortgage brokers, and then investors, just straight up, I want to get involved in a partnership and make some investments. And through, I guess, through figuring out like how we can have our PRECs supported by a mortgage broker or a developer who's looking to launch a new product, find some investors, We've actually created an ecosystem. So our practice has over 160 real estate-based individuals and corporations out of over 900 clients that we have right now. And we've only been in business for six years as a partnership. Our approach. What we're trying to do here is really highlight for you what you should look for when you're really working with an accountant. They should be looking for six key things for you. Number one, protecting your assets. So that could be your business. It could be a number of portfolio investment uh, properties. It could be you know, anything that's going to eventually generate money for you. <clears throat> protecting your assets means, are they working with a lawyer? Are they working with your interests in mind? 
to make sure that you're protected from all kinds of liability. Sometimes you don't need to incorporate, but you should still ask. The next step, tax optimization. This is where everyone gets really excited, right? Because that's when we're trying to work for you to find the lowest tax you need to pay out of pocket. And this is usually where people come to us the most, but it's not the primary driver anymore for a lot of our clients. A lot of what they're thinking about goes into these other four categories of approaches. How do I, how do I move money out of my corporation, my holding company, my family trust? How do I do that in a very tax efficient manner or how do I even pay myself? Salaries, dividends, you know, what's the best mix and what's the best balance? That's what you want to think about when you're asking your account, how do I move money? Grow your assets. If you have a PREC, what if you actually wanted to start growing into becoming a broker, a brokerage, and having agents under you? For a lot of eXp agents, this is going to be very relevant to you because you have the downline, right? How do you structure all of that? What do you do in terms of operational efficiencies? What are some of your considerations for business process? We can actually help with that. Selling an exit, our fifth pillar. How do you actually unlock value from what you've been spending 10, 20, 30 years of your life devoted to doing? How do you extract that without paying too much in terms of taxes and other fees to the government and other parties so that you still retain a lot of that hard-earned after-tax cash dollars? And the last thing is estate and legacy. And this is something I think a lot of the younger generation is starting to get awakened to, is that there are some people that are out there who want to leave a name that's bigger than their lifetime. What's that going to look like? Who's it going to pass to? How are they going to keep that going? So we work with you on, on things like estate planning, uh, asset transfers, intergenerational tax planning. Those are matters that our clients are really concerned about now. So here's a little illustration here. Wealth is eroded by tax. It's your biggest wealth erosion factor. If we had a dollar that doubles every time for 20 times, and you didn't have to pay any tax, at the end of that 20th doubling, you would have $1.4 million, or $1 million of available cash that you can spend. But let's say that your tax rate was 40%, and you had to pay that 40% on each doubling. So your first dollar comes to you, then you get your second dollar, but then you pay 40 cents, so you get a dollar 60, and so on and so forth. Your available after tax cash after the 20th doubling is only 12 grand. Yeah. So the planning, it matters. And we're here for you. And we're actually going to walk you through a planning session that we've done for a client in the past. And that's what our, our case study is going to be for, for 2.30. So I'd highly encourage you to come back for 2.30. We're going to basically go through a young professional family. It's an engineering family, but it could also be a PREC family. It could be a dentist. It could be a lawyer. It could be your client. It could be you. But what we're trying to do is help them get a business going, acquire a new home, and unlock cash so that they don't actually have to, to remortgage and, and pay all of their hard-earned dollars now in order to make that house happen. So yeah, that's us at 2.30. Hope you join us.